G'day, I'm Ash, and welcome back to Project Wingman. It's not Project Wingman. I'm just all over the place. I do apologise. This is Plane Mechanic Simulator. Um, and we have to replace the air tanks. That is our objective. Now, I don't know where the air tanks are. Now, I do apologise for the lack of uploads recently. I've been feeling extremely under the weather. Um, not, not just that, I've had a bunch of personal things. And today... As of me trying to upload this exact video... Hold on. Bastards making me want to f play Spitfires in other games. Um, I just I just haven't felt like a motivational drive. And as of uploading today's video, I've had extreme internet problems for about four to five hours. Internet keeps dropping in and out every five or ten minutes. So I turn the router off for ten minutes, come back, turn it back on again, and there's internet connection problems and all sorts of things. Anyway air tanks if I remember the air tanks are in the back here so how do we get into the back can we get into the back air bottle okay there are two air bottles there does that mean I have to go and get a thing from the replacement parts no so what do we have to do replace air tanks Receive so until about a large bombing raid. Make sure that the machine guns won't jam during the flight. Can I take anything off here? Ah. Well, that's obviously our radio. But... No, sir. No, sir? What do I need to take out? Because I want to take out... I want to, I want to replace the air tanks. Is, is, is that, that possible? There you come. Right, I I'm surprised that you have to take the battery out just for that. Why can't I just take out the whole entire assembly? Okay, now we go inside. Can we go inside, or is that not possible? Uh, that one, that one. Alright. This is weird. The camera on this fucking game sometimes. It is really hard to get into the areas where you need to. Okay, there we go. You just sort of pretend like you know what you're doing, and then... Okay, we've undone the screws to the air tanks. Right. Let's take off that bracket there. Alright. So, replace the air tanks. Replace. Ash. There we go. And we'll just install these fuckers. Now, hopefully we don't have to uh, do anything else. A very interesting mission, this one. Alright. Um, obviously... Install one air bottle. Why does it resort to that silly camera movement? Oh, okay, installed that one. Now we can install the other one. Put the other bracket back on. Screw that in. There we go. All the tasks have been completed. See, I knew it was something around here. Where else would you have air tanks? You wouldn't have them all on the top of the engine. That's for sure. Radio battery. 15 minutes left. What do you mean I've got 15 minutes left? Right. Get in there. Get in there, my son. Get in there. Why are you not getting in inside the... Th oh, thank you. Okay. Alright. That's done. Now, let's get up here. Put the top cowling back on. Because I was an idiot. Now that's buttoned up. That should be good. We didn't take part in anything else. Okay, refuel the aircraft, rearm the machine guns, and replace all the gun port patches. This is going to be interesting. Reloading the machine guns is very similar to replacing parts. Just remember that after placing a new ammo box, you also need to open the machine gun's breech cover on top and move the ammo belt inside. Oh, God. Yikes. Uh, the intel was correct. For once, we intercepted the bomber group before they reached the ships. Scored a few hits on one of them before they turned tail. Unfortunately, we're, we weren't allowed to chase. Alright, let's go. First off, it says refuel the aircraft. I'm not going to do that just yet. We need to, obviously, rearm uh, with machine guns. So that's what we're going to be doing first. What have we got over here? We've got the oil and the what, and what have you. Is there an ammunition crate? Okay, I, I presume that this is the ammunition crate. No? Huh. 
harmonization board. Uh, I've heard about these legendary harmonization boards. They're quite interesting. Okay, first off, let's go and take off basically all of these uh, doors. Now, there are six guns along. I'm just going to take off all of them, make sure that everything is done in an orderly fashion. That way, what we can do is identify each part. Now, I've never really worked on any aircraft like this. I mean, the Tiger Moth was the extent of my knowledge. Uh, especially considering I've flown that for seven hours in real life. I have never gone past that. I did, actually. I have a fun, fun story. Uh, in... So there's a museum down here in Victoria, where I, I live currently. Uh, and it is... It's got, a, it's, got a, it's got a boomerang, a static one. Well, they were actually uh, restoring it to flight-worthy condition. And anyway, a couple of years back, I managed to help install the propeller on a boomerang, which was fantastic fun. And we also installed the landing gear. Well, it turns out that aircraft is now uh, flight-worthy. It's moved over to New Zealand, and the, the, the owners have, have sold it. All right, there's the ammo box as well. Gun door D. Is there any more gun doors on this side? I don't think so. Just make sure that I've got all of them. Man, that Randall cover is is pretty. Okay, so obviously we've got to reload all the cans now. Hmm. Uh, ejection chute, ammunition box. Let's take off that. Let's pull these two out and then pull that. Same for that. Um, and even... Now we've got to clear all the jams and things too. First off, let's get all the ammo out. Because that's going to be a pain in the arse. I have a feeling this is going to be a consistent uh, with the Spitfire. It's just going to be so painful just trying to always continuously unload it. Yet people did. You know, they say they could serve a Spitfire in under, you know, under two hours. You know, they'd have a full crew of like six or seven different people. You know, one was doing all very specialist types of uh, avionics and, and technical work, and then others were just ammunition refuelers. The aviation industry is fantastic. It's not just all about flying the aircraft and everything else. It's also about the logistics behind it. Um, yeah, it, it's quite fascinating to me. Uh, oh, gunport patch. Oh, well, that's what they meant. Okay. Well, now that I don't have, I don't really have to. That's interesting. So that obviously that's that's a patch which protects the outer skin of the aircraft. I always knew these things had a purpose. I just didn't know that they actually had something behind them. So what it does is it stops all the, the I'm guessing the, the the residue from the f after firing of the weapon from hitting the leading edge of the wing. Which obviously, if you're having a lot of gunfire coming out of your wings, you don't want any part of that to be damaged because that affects uh, the rate of climb, etc, etc. And you imagine you have like a, a bullet that explodes, or the gun flashes over time, if you didn't have that particular piece protected, the damage it would do to the airframe, uh, just along the leading edge there, would be immense. Okay. So, I, I'm... Oh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that for an animation. Christ. Well, uh, she's clean, sir. <laughs> oh Christ! I, I should I should apply a not safe for work warning on the on the video now. Oh, here we go. I've seen pictures of people doing this. They just stick a long rod into the machine gun and into the back there. Make sure all the ammo's out first. All right, there we go. Uh, I think we've done. No, we haven't. We haven't. Just, just let me insert my thing into the hole here. I don't need to blur this section of footage. <laughs> Alright, let's take the gunboard patch off. Alright, after we've got to replace all the machine guns, we've got to rearm the machine guns to refuel the aircraft. So, how exactly do I use upper port gun door? Alright, intricate compartments let's go put the let's go put the machine gun back in we need to actually clean this one 
insert her into there. Nice rod through the center, tighten up with a bolt. All right, put the ejection chute back on and the coolant. Now, let's go and obviously clean the gun barrel. That noise is uneasy. <laughs> the, the gun door noise. All right, after that, what do we need to do? Let's go replace the should we go ammunition box. It's okay. Ash, that'll do. It's hard, to, it's hard to recreate my name, especially in one of these kind of scenarios. Okay, now let's put the ammunition box back in. I, I find this a, a valuable learning experience too. Um, I don't know why. All right, starboard. Let's put all the. We, we've we've basically made sure that the guns are operational. We've cleaned them all. I believe there's only one other thing we have to do is make sure they're actually properly firing. Um, let's first off put all the ammunition boxes in because those are important. I don't know why they're glowing white. In you go. Twist that lever and then put in the two clips on the on the end. I think you put the two clips in and then put the uh, other end. But anyway. All right, here we go. Ammunition box A. Close that up. It's amazing how much they fit it into the wings. Like, you don't necessarily think originally. Of course, you know there's machine guns there, but... And, and uh, that gets put on. Now we just put on the gun port patch. It's just so that if... Is it so that when they fired their guns, the, the first bullet would penetrate through the thing so they'll be able to check the uh because i remember later spitfires had what was it a small uh, camera to tell what you had shot at i believe that's what this is right so beside here is it what's this isn't this the camera as well i'm not entirely sure so i remember seeing wartime footage of like the guns firing off anyway let's put all the patches back on in the ammo box one ammo box two let's close this up put the guns on the doors I find this th thoroughly interesting okay ammunition box B let's get that done all right here we are And that should be closed. Now, what else do I have to do? I've uh, I've rearmed all the machine guns, haven't I? See what's on the top. See if I can clear any of the. I think I have to. I have to lower all the machine guns. Not lower the machine guns. I think I have to f f fill up the don't I? There we are. Okay. Make sure all the guns are working. Okay. First off, we'll take off the breech covers. Let's do that. We'll go over the other side and do the same. Now that I know what I have to do there, so you have to lift up the receiver and then make sure the gun is actually armed and, and ready to go. I didn't think that was a necessary step. That's okay. There is a reason why these particular covers exist in the first place. I'm sure if they came up with some other... Con... Uh, Never mind. Thought escapes me. Right. Ejection. Okay, there we go. That one and that one. Now, we're just going to hit the ammo belt. Close that. One more. Hit the ammo belt in.
Come on. Or do we have to actually pull something? I'm not entirely sure. Hasn't give us task completed though, that's that's the annoying part. Well we have to do this side first too. Alright. There we go, we've got the task completed finally. Huzzah. Alright, now, all we've got to do is, is the refueling simulator. Um, thank you very much for watching today's video, lads. I know it's a little bit of a short one. I do apologise for the lack of uploads. It has... My internet's been troubling me, and I've been going through a lot. I do highly suggest that you watch my latest Crash with Ash. It was uploaded five days ago now. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I explain a, a bit what the, what's going on there, but, you know, what? things were looking up and then things just crashed. So I spent the last week trying to amend certain things. But anyway, until next time, fuck off, Spitfires.